was the fourth Paul William in his family. His grandfather, Paul William II, was a professional boxer who went by the name Irish Billy Walker. You won't find this on his IMDb page, but the star was first in front of the cameras for a Pampers commercial at the ripe age of two. He started working on TV shows in his early teens. He starred in his first movie at 13. The year was 1986 and the movie was a horror comedy movie called Monster in the Closet. Fergie was also in the movie. Walker played Professor Bennett, a cute kid with glasses. He was linked to Jessica Alba. Before Jessica Alba tied the knot with Cash Warren, she and Walker were rumored to be a hot couple. They met while filming their movie Into the Blue. Nothing ever came of the rumors. He studied marine biology. Walker studied marine biology in community college and said that he'd always planned to pursue it as a career before he got famous. He met Jean-Michel Cousteau, son of his childhood idol Jacques Cousteau, at a charity event earlier this year. He was on a kiddie game show. It was like newlyweds for siblings. Walker was on the very awesomely 80s show I'm Telling. With his younger sister Ashley. They finished in second place. He won a Teen Choice Award with his car. That's right, the 2003 Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Chemistry went to the star and his car from Too Fast Too Furious. He won Best On Screen Team at the MTV Movie Awards in 2002 with Fast and the Furious co-star Vin Diesel. He hung out with Great Whites. The star's passion for the ocean extended beyond the classroom. He was a board member of the Bill Fish Foundation, which monitors the health of the ocean worldwide, and was featured on the National Geographic series Expedition Great White in 2010. He spent almost two weeks with a crew catching and tagging great white sharks off the coast of Mexico. He launched his career playing a wacky surfer. It was his role in the zany surfer comedy Meet the Deedles in 1998 that supposedly launched him into the spotlight, leading to his breakout role in Pleasantville. He earned a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. It's unclear how he had time for all of his hobbies, but Walker earned the second highest achievement in jiu-jitsu and was working his way toward a black belt. He said the sport also helped him to be a better surfer. His girlfriend was much younger. The actor's most recent girlfriend Jasmine Pilchard Gosnell made headlines for being just 16 when they allegedly started dating in 2006. He was 33 at the time. Word has it they got engaged back in 2008, but the rumors fizzled months later. They reportedly broke up in 2011, but might have gotten back together recently. He owned a high-end performance car shop. The Valencia shop was called Always Evolving. Roger Rodas, the driver of the Porsche in Saturday's accident, was the CEO of the shop and Walker's financial advisor. He was a race car driver. He didn't just race in the movies. Walker competed in the Redline Time Attack Racing Series and was on the AE Performance Team. He drove a M3, E92. He has three siblings. Walker grew up with two younger brothers and a younger sister. The picture on the left is of him and brother Cody from 2003. He has a daughter. Meadow Walker was born in November 1998. She spent most of her childhood living with her mom, Rebecca McBrain. In 2011 she moved to California to be closer to her dad. She's now 17. Would you feel comfortable walking into this room? This is one of the coolest whole room optical illusions that I've ever seen. At first glance it looks like there's something really exciting going on in the evolutionary tree of these cows. But it's really just a cool picture of a cow and a bird taken at just the right time. These two look like they're breaking through to another dimension. In reality, it's just a forced perspective picture. It's amazing what you can do with a camera if you put your mind to it. 
in a beard growing competition this would be cheating. But in the world of photography, this is pretty awesome. Bonus points because it looks like the man's legs are on backwards. When you're creative, you can make trippy art out of anything even a pair of dead fish. Putting it in black and white made this surreal photograph even more beautiful. This chalk artist Sidwalk drawing is amazing. The 3D perspective from the right angle is particularly impressive. Either that's a big ass soda, or the paint job on this truck creates an illusion that we thought was really cool. This trippy optical illusion is made with concentric red circles painted in segments along the pillars, walls, ceiling, and floor of this hallway. I would love to see a video of people stopping and worrying about being transported to an alternate reality before continuing down the hall. A butterfly landed in the eye socket of a human skull and this trippy but beautiful photograph is the result. You don't have to believe in ghosts to have some suspicions that the skull or the butterfly is a little paranormal. This praying mantis looks like it's riding a bike. I hope this is just a really trippy photo optical illusion. Otherwise the insects have gotten way too smart for their own good. This is a photograph taken by the Mexican studio Golpivisa. It's a portrait made out of then world's best chef René Redzapai, if you can't see it, step back from your screen and squint. Someone saw this in their draining sink and managed to get a picture in time. I can never get to my camera that fast. Do you think this photographer does dishes with his camera around his neck hoping for a shot like this? This is part of an art installation. The hallway was constructed upside down so people could take pictures and pretend that they have supernatural powers. Someone dropped two hula hoops, crunchy snacks, into a cup of milky coffee and this materialized. It made for a good photo OP, I'd recommend against drinking the spirit of that owl that just manifested itself. Maybe offer it a sacrifice instead. Have trouble telling where the Eiffel Tower ends and the illusion begins? Tip, the Eiffel Tower is not made out of colorful plastic.